Uh, I've just edited the number five because it was looking a bit uh, dull, really, with shades of blue. So I've used very primary green and a, and a dark red here for it. And the other thing I'm going to do is instead of having it uh, called Sprite 1, I'm, at, I'm going to type in the word 5 because this is actually the word 5. And let's just have a look at what, what is going on here. So um, the other thing that you'll notice is when you click on the green flag, you get a white border around this code. Or you can actually click on this top hat here and you get a white border. And the white border means that that particular code is running. Uh, so, th so when you've got a white border, the code is running and then it co comes to a stop because it just starts there, does that, does that, does that, and does that. And so the way we want to think about this particular sprite is we want it, after it's shown and it's gone to some kind of random location, we want it to keep going to some random locations, I don't know, for four times or five times or something like that, and then we want it to disappear because then we've got another number coming up that we're going to show. So to get it to uh, keep moving around for a while, I'm going to use this repeat uh, 10 command. It says 10 at the moment. We're going to change that number. So you probably notice that anything with a black arrow now, you can click on that and it changes and gives you more options. And uh, exactly the same, we can change this 10 to another number. So what I what I need to do is I want this repeat command to go around the glide command over here. And I want this to repeat four times. So I want it to go to a random location, uh, a random x location between minus 220 and 220, and a random y location between 60 and minus 160 because that basically describes the whole of this space. So if it picked a random value, let's say 150, that would be sort of up here in terms of y. And if it picked a value, let's say, of um, 5x, that would be sort of 150 up here, and 5x is, is kind of around there. So that, that's where it would go. Uh, so uh, that's, that's OK. So let's repeat this four times, run this, and see what happens. So that's going to keep doing that. It's going to do that four times. And then it just kind of stops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this number one, taking one second. I'm going to change that to two seconds and then just see what happens. And now it's just taking longer to get to different uh, locations. And it's just kind of moving around five times, uh, which is fine, right? That's what we want. So let's just remind ourselves what we want to do. So we want it to randomly move around the screen for a bit, which it does. And then um, otherwise, we just want it to go away ready for the next number. So I'm just going to do this bit here before we do you know, what happens if Bluey moves over it. Because obviously, Bluey still works. We can use Bluey to do all of this, move around the screen. So after it's moved. Um, after it's done it's gliding about to random locations what do we want it to do well we want it to basically go away and do this hide business again so we want it to let's go to looks and let's choose we want it to then hide and then we want it to go off stage which is this command here so I know where I got that and this is this is quite good to go back to various places where you got this because then you can see what other options there are because like I said there are many different ways to do the same thing that I'm doing because other people might think about this differently so what this is going to do is it does this bit it's going to hide it's going to come off stage around here it's then going to show it's then going to do the following four times. So it's going to glide to a random location, does it once, then needs to do it again, glide to another random location, does it twice, do it again, glide to a random location, it's done it three times now, glide to a random location, once it's done it four times, it then comes out of this particular loop. So remember this repeat is covering all the things that need to be repeated, it is then going to hide, 
and then it's going to come off stage again. So if we run this now, it should just kind of move around randomly. There we go. Move, move, move. And then it's going to disappear. That's great. OK, in the next video, what we're going to do is program in what happens if we move Bluey over.